Let's talk money with Tony. Tony, good morning. Morning, Paul. Um, now, it, uh, ironically, we are going to talk about the regions now because there must be a lot of people in Southland and Tai Happy and places like that who get heartily fed up hearing us talk about Auckland house prices all the time. That's right. I mean, there's so much focus about Auckland now. If you look around the rest of the country, interesting thing is the prices are a bit of a mixed bag, but the volumes, the number of houses sold has really increased from a year ago. So if we look at some of those regions, um, first off, down in Southland, their prices are up 15.5% from May of last year. And Otago's prices, they've gone up 12%. Interesting, though, if you look at the Southland numbers, Invercargill prices up double digits, but Gore has fallen more than 10% from May of last year. Now, Wellington, their prices are down 1.7% from a year ago. Canterbury's have fallen 3.6%, but the volumes are up, especially in Canterbury as the rebuild picks up. And I'll mention one more region, Waikato Bay of Plenty, up 4.2% from a year ago. The reason I mention that region is that the Real Estate Institute says it's hearing from its agents that increasingly buyers in Auckland are looking at that region as they look for properties outside of Auckland. All right, so just very quickly highlighting this, sort of Canterbury, uh, Can uh, Wellington is down 1.7%. From May of last year. That's in the medium price yeah. um, compared to a year ago, and, and Canterbury 3.5%. And volume's picking up. That's a sign, of course, as you get a little bit more either affordability or simply supply. Or simply, yeah, It's getting absolutely. a few more people on the property ladder. And we've got, to, we've got to say, obviously Canterbury would be expected to drop because they were stellar, weren't they? There was such a short supply, such a small supply, and those figures had risen so sharply. But for Wellington, it is unusual, isn't it, that Wellington is sort of bucking a trend. That's right. I mean, and this has been a concern in, in Wellington for quite some time, that the prices have been where mm. they are. The other mm. interesting point to know, we've done year on year. The reason for that is, of course, as you go, say, month on month, April to May, we're starting to get into the colder period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That starts to skew the figures. Yeah. All right. And very quickly, ASB have cut their fixed term mortgage rates. Right, One year is under 5%. Yes, that's a special rate. There's actually, uh, across the board for the one 18-month and two-year rates, they've cut them by half a percent to around 5.5%. But of course, as we've talked about before, you can negotiate that down and they've got a special one-year rate, 4.99%. There's conditions around that, including having to have uh, your, your wages paid into your ASB account. There's one rate cheaper on the market than that, HSBC, 4.95% mm -hmm. for a go. year. But again, some conditions coming around Brilliant. that. Brilliant. And as you pointed out there, and we can't say this enough, negotiate with your bank manager because that is just their starting point. Remember that.